Hi, my name is Sarah Aldrich, she, her, hers, and I will be performing a monologue from Revolt, She Said, Revolt Again, and Eleanor from King Henry VI, Part Two. I just, I, I wasn't expecting. It's not the sort of thing you expect, or look out for, or, or, I'm trying, I'm trying to find words to, um, oh, it's like, imagine if, Okay, imagine if one day I waltzed in here and was like, Sweet pea, honey, nightingale of mine and heart's desire, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you body and heart and soul, I love you. And I think to express this love, we should go and blow up the local stop and shop. And then I presented you with a massive bomb upon a vest on bended knee. And let's imagine that prior to this moment, this, this bended knee moment, the only conversation we had ever had about bombing or, or, or suicide bombers was in fact a sort of vague chat in which one of us may have suggested slightly hesitantly, though not entirely unpredictably given our bleeding heart liberalism, empathy towards said suicide bombers who had lost everything in a war that you and I from our privileged positions cannot possibly understand. But other than this sort of vague experience, that was the only conversation we had ever had about bombing and then in I waltz with a suicide vest in the tone of voice that suggested that that had been the plan all along. Imagine your surprise. Imagine your surprise. <laughs> no, of course you didn't suggest we blow up a supermarket. That was a, a fun. That was a metaphor. That was, I wish you had. Why does the great Duke Humphrey knit his brow as frowning on the favors of the world? Put forth thy hand, reach at the glorious gold. Oh, what, is it too short? I'll lengthen it with mine, and having both together heaved it up, we'll both together raise our heads to heaven, and never more abase our sight so low as to vouchsafe one glance unto the ground. But listen to me, my Humphrey, my sweet Duke. I dreamed a dream this morning while you slept that I did sit in seat of majesty at the cathedral church at Westminster and on that chair where kings and queens are crowned. There, Henry and Dame Margaret kneeled to me and on my head did set the diadem. What? What, my lord? <laughs> Are you so choleric with Eleanor for telling but her dream? Next time I'll keep my dreams to myself and not be checked. <laughs>